Well, look what's just arriving. It's the Fujifilm Fine Pix HS10 with a 30x optical zoom. We actually reached to the moon with this camera and got a pretty decent picture. This camera has a fold out 3 inch LCD, a plethora of external controls, and it's built like a DSLR. It's about the same size, just slightly lighter. It's got a giant pop up flash on top here, an ancillary mode selection dial and custom control dial. The FinePix HS10 also has 1080p high definition video and it also stole Casio's high speed video shooting. 1000 frames per second, 480, 240, 120, all the way down the line. You'll also see a ton of advanced scene modes on this camera. In addition to a full manual mode, program auto, um, aperture priority and shutter priority. There's also a panoramic sweep mode, a multi-motion capture, which is just like Casio's multi-motion image, and a motion remover, which is designed to pluck or purge the tourist or object that gets in the way of your shot right out of the frame. This camera runs on four AA batteries and SD and SDHC cards. We'll tell you right now, it's going to be hard to find a fixed lens that has this level of manual control. We love this panel on the left side of the LCD screen that gave us ISO, auto exposure, autofocus, and white balance right on the fly. We could also toggle high speed shooting and exposure compensation right on top with these two buttons. And we had a four way directional pad in the back which wasn't anything special. We would have liked to dial. but. The firmware was very quick on this camera. What we liked about this camera is it has an electronic viewfinder that automatically turns on via a motion sensor. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. This camera has manual focus. Um, and what it does is when you access manual focus, it gives you a focus assist, which is a zoomed portion of the screen that allows you to fine tune the sharpness. Now the only problem with that is that the resolution of that screen is pretty awful. So there's no real way to tell everything's pixelated. Now ISO we can set particular ranges like we can set ISO auto up to 800 or 400 but we could also manually choose up to 6400 so that's a pretty decent range. And white balance, we have the standard presets and settings, but we can also fine tune individual color ranges. Now the HS10 does have a fairly wide aperture range, it's f2.8 to f11, and the shutter speed goes down to 30 seconds. But keep in mind that Panasonic cameras at this price range and lower have a shutter speed that go up to 60 seconds. Now there's an advanced mode on this dial that includes three different scene modes. The first one is Pro Low Light. We found it actually work fairly well. The camera blends together four images without using the flash in low light and gives you the best image it can based on sharpness and ISO. The other two modes are pretty gimmicky. There's Multi-Motion Capture, which is just the same thing as Casio's Multi-Motion Image, allowing you to capture a subject in different locations on the frame based on their motion the field of their motion. And the last one, motion remover, is almost a total gimmick. I don't think we ever got it to work correctly. Now let's talk high speed video. Another looting and plundering from Casio. We have all the same frame rates in high speed. It doesn't have the versatility. It doesn't have the control in playback allowing you to trim and save clips after you edit them. And the quality was not as good as Casio's. Then there was 1080p recording in the .mov format. Now we put this 1080p up to Nikon's P100 and the Nikon P100 blew this camera away to be honest. And that brings us to still image quality which we were very impressed with. The FinePix cameras this year are very hard to tango with when it comes to still image quality. And that's one of this camera's strong points. And then we've got the 30x optical zoom with the 24 millimeter wide angle capability. Now, at full wide angle and at full zoom, the difference is uncanny. Unfortunately, the zoom ring is not refined. 
it's actually very catchy and jumpy it's not smooth so when you go to zoom in especially in video you'll see in some of our video samples the image is jumping and dancing around because we're just trying to we're trying to find that sweet spot so this is the Fujifilm FinePix HS10 this is a camera that appears as though it were crafted in a mad scientist laboratory we love the abundance of external controls and manual controls we like the image quality on this camera the 30x optical zoom for still images and the high-speed video was nice to have although it's not up to snuff with Casio what we didn't like was the 1080p video quality uh, video quality in general we need more refinement on this zoom and we need a better manual focus much better LCD screen resolution because the manual focus is going to be worthless without it and at five hundred dollars this camera is difficult for us to justify because you can get a very decent DSLR like the Pentax KX for the same price and you can just buy an interchangeable lens that has a greater focal length. So that's what we think about the Fujifilm FinePix HS10. For InfoSync World, I'm Mike Perlman.